I welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshek. Sitting next to me is Mike Brenner, who's been heating up in baseball the last uh, few days. You had a, a few losing days, but now after the last two days, you're officially positive units, positive yes. ROI, positive everything. Let's throw the record up. Even I had a winner yesterday, which is uh, which yes, is crazy. Did. So I'm climbing back up. I'm actually doing real well in totals in MLB this year, and I'm going to prove it. If, if it continues, then let's let's start putting those totals out because here. I don't make the picks until like the I hour know, before. But uh, but it, uh, yeah, no. Did I, you tweet I'll anything out last night like you said you would? No, because I was. Uh, as I told you, Hot I was, a, well, a complicated situation. Complicated situation. Yeah. Complicated right. situation Another complicated last night. situation. But the point is, congratulations, Mike Brenner, right. that uh, nice payout for Toronto. They didn't. Yeah. They weren't explosive offensively, though, but got a good start from Stroman, which was part yeah, of the run line uh, uh, analysis there. Yeah. What's your take on Toronto? I guess we. I guess let's just start it. Yeah, with, let's with get Toronto. into it. But uh, uh, you know, again, Pete, it's just it's a long season and uh, just moving upwards and feeling that confidence and feeling it out. So hopefully well, you can warm yeah, up as well. I believe you can. I think so too. And then, uh, well, let's talk about it. Toronto and Boston. This is one of the series that I that I identified. You know, I do a series uh, preview show with Ian Cameron, right? Uh -huh. And I asked him about three series. This is one of them. Toronto, Boston. Yeah. I said, how would this the series not have overs written all over it when they met in Toronto? Two of the three games went over. Yeah. Yeah, uh, the total on, on the overnight line on this one was nine yeah, and it's that. still nine now was that because of Dickey? No. No. Is that because it's of Porcello? It's because no. Boston lost their bats in the last three games. All right. They're, they're, they're two and, or they've lost two out of three. Right. And they feel like they've lost their bats a minute. But yeah, I, I looked at that also. That thing could blow up and explode after five innings and cover nine. Now, the, pro the problem here is if I give it uh, on the over and then I see like the lineups and weather uh, 15 minutes before, I could easily be on the under. So that's the problem. Well, I, well then you got to get into the situation because I don't believe in that's the work the problem, problem, Pete. I no, believe no, in the situation. No, no. <laughs> What's the solution? No such thing the as solution problems. Is, the solution is no. we film this show 10 minutes before the game starts. There is no solution. Uh, well, there way. is no solution. But, but anyway. But I'll tell you this. If it's normal weather, I mean, over nine in Toronto, Boston, in Boston with Dickey and Porcello, well, how well, is that not a great They day? have some kind of weather forecast. What did your weather forecast say? Uh, yeah, I, I don't check the weather. Uh, yeah, 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 I didn't check the weather. But, but the, the, because <laughs> the wind the wind, uh, the wind, uh, the wind is, uh, is, is, I just don't trust right. the weather no. forecast. So I guess uh, you're not going to pull the trigger then on that one. If not, let's move on. All right, I'll pull it. I'll there pull we it. Go. Sure. But if, if there's weather and, and, and other stuff issues, then I won't be up. But all right, I'll, t I'll pull it. Sure. Over nine. It's suspiciously low, right? I, that, that Why does, would that total yeah. be nine? I will uh, I will take it nine. And the best line for the over is Heritage plus 100. Yeah. Heritage. If it loses, it loses. Screw it. Dickie's Dickie's liable to get roped. Yeah. I mean, seriously, Ortiz well, might knock two out of the park. Well, I mean, Portel got he got roped just last I mean, time. I mean, the pitch, starting pitchers yeah. suck. How, about, how can this be a nine? How about the first five total? Yeah, I like the first yeah. five total. Yeah, I would do. I you would know do, what, what? What's the first five total, Pistol Peter? Um, I don't. I don't have it here. I only have the five inning run um, okay. uh, money lines, but I'm assuming it's five. Five, yeah. Just straight five. So uh, yeah. yeah, the only problem is I, I don't want to go uh, two bets on this one. In the, okay. In the, so I'll take okay. the uh, I'll take the full game over at. Um, at uh, at nine, okay, and then uh, let's see a lot of interesting situation. Well, I guess I mean this is a ten foot pole for me. Maybe you have something to say about it. Zach Greinke, right? Yep. Two horrible starts. Wow, what the hell? Nine point nine zero ERA. Yeah. He had he had, a, he had, he had a very low bat bip uh, last year, which would indicate a regression. Yeah. But he's still Zach Greinke. Yeah. If he's ever going to have a bounce back spot, it's here against San Diego. James Shields, the thirty four year old. Well, What's I'm going, going with it, baby. You are? Okay. Yes. Money line was minus one thirty three. Run line was plus one thirty. I'm taking the money line because Granky's got to slowly come out of this funk and it's not going to happen just with a shutdown game. But I expect him to do a hell of a lot better. And I think get going on the road, it's going to be good for him. I mean, Happens historically, big teams. Historically, he's great in Petco. I know, I know, I know. But I'm just telling you, I think the weakness here is James Shields, a 34-year-old, got roped his last time out. He's 0-2. He's got like a 4.85 ERA, which isn't astronomical. But right. I just think Padres don't have enough bats. And I think granky has got to look at that salary and that contract. And, you know, he can't just stay cold for long. So get out on the road. Take care of your business. So I'm going with it, baby. I'm pulling the trigger. Psh. Diamondbacks. The yeah. worst line is minus 137. The best lines are minus 132. I'm so gonna that's we're going to give you. There's my Pin line shopper. That's Save me that penny. That's pinnacle, bet online, sportsbetting.ag. Here I have it. You know you mellowed out since yesterday. You were wound up yesterday. You were wound was I? up. Oh, I'm relaxing. I'm chilling, Mike. I mean, Brenner. did you read the blog? Bloggers were like, what was Pete drinking oh, in the morning? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. That's that's the problem. Everyone's, <laughs> everyone's like, what? The, from, from day one of my life, I've been, what the hell is that guy on? The, answer, the problem is, the answer is always nothing. It's natural, fucked up chemicals in my brain, which I cannot control. All right. So, moving on. Uh, huge start. You know, huge uh, pitching matchup. Bumgarner, Kershaw, the last yeah. time that they met six days ago, went as expected. Yep. Game was 3-2. If you, if you just went with a no-brainer pick and 
bet the under, you cashed. Uh, what do you think about this one? Gosh. Awesome starts from both of them again. You have anything to say about it? I don't know. I'm staying off the yeah. beat. I just got to stay off it. I'm going to enjoy it, though. I love when two lefties like this go at it that are dominating like they are. And, of course, the, the, the obvious is, hey, I'll take the under. But sometimes in a situation like that with two shutdown pitchers. Absolutely. You know, For sometimes sure. the offense is just unloading sure. on cork. I'm staying off it. But uh, it's inter- I'm going to be anxious to see who gets the win. Because yeah. if I'm correct, K- Kershaw got the win last time. Yeah. I mean, so. he pitched. He pitched. He's been he's been absolutely lights out just yeah. as, you know, as. So, may, I mean, look, the Giants team total under might be another. What, what is the What is the side on that? It's a it's a it's a big line. It's minus one seventies. Wow. It's in the minus one seventies yeah, for the a Dodgers. Bit, bit too big yeah. for my liking. Staying off. But I mean, it reminds me of when when the when uh, Johan Santana was just lights yeah. out at home every start. He was actually had good value yeah. even at minus yeah, two hundred. Speaking of which, he's trying to make start. a comeback. Did you see that? Really? Yeah, he's trying no. to make a comeback. That's not read about work. it yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's talk about another guy who's been uh, struggling. Dallas Koiko, right? Yeah. He's got a big line. It's I mean, Pelfrey sucks, but I'm tempted to take Detroit here, and I'm very and tempted. Detroit to- is just really really focused right now. Yeah. They just beat the dog shit out of Pittsburgh that whole series. Their offense just lit up. You know what? Their offense is a lot better than people give them credit for. And the big talk was that they had the worst pitching staff in Major League Baseball. But they forgot to talk about how good their, you know, Victor right. Martinez. These guys can hit and they bring it. And not just that, they're on an emotional high right now. What do you do? I'm staying off it. Yeah, Pelfrey uh, pretty much is going to suck the whole year, although they'll have some <laughs> good games. Uh, I'm tempted to take the over eight and a half here. Maybe I will. But uh, let's think about it. Let's move on. Then uh, another one. All right, let's talk about Minnesota. Still Still, they have not won a oh, game. God, still, they have not gone over. They're 0 and 9 straight up and 0 and 9 over. I still under. think it's going to be them and the Braves in the World Series. So. <laughs> and they're facing Garrett Richards for the Angels, who's uh, you know a solid, reliable starter. He's one of those guys. Who, if he has a few bad starts, he you know he's going to bounce back. Yeah. It, this is like him with with, with Granky. He's been a little bit subpar this year. Uh, and and is he going to bounce back here against Minnesota? If it's going to happen, probably here, right? Now Minnesota's at home, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you would think it, the bounce back would be against Minnesota, but the reason I'm staying off it is that that damn winless streak's got to end at some time at or some another point, yeah. so I, I don't know when that's going to be but angels i'm still not sold on them yet they have not oh i'm not sold them at all yeah so i'm staying and away that's why from i'm that leaning towards beat. the under i might pull okay. a trigger well, on that need, one i'm going right. think about it yeah and then another one this one i'm thinking about i actually because there was no overnight line i didn't look at it carefully yet i'm going to soon but atlanta at miami yeah fading atlanta this is like one of those situations where like right. you know how we talk about it in, in the nba you just bet on the spurs bet yeah, on both played every game exactly if you bet against atlanta every game i feel like even though you're going to be taking a lot of uh, big favorite lines, you're going to come up yeah. ahead. And this is another one of those situations, no Way in Chen yeah. on the mound. What do you think about Miami on the run line? It, it's one of my plays. Okay. I got them on the run line plus 125. All yep. right, Gordon and Giancarlo Stanton, they're going to open it up today. And the Braves, they're the Braves right now, and they sold out the farm so they could afford this new stadium they're moving into. And in, uh, in Atlanta, you know, yeah. they're moving yeah, yeah, outside yeah. of the city. But bottom line, the Marlins, their they're, they're coach, their manager is what's going to win this game. Mattingly's going to get through to this team, and they're going to slowly build confidence to where Gonzalez, that guy, he, he's lost that team. There's nothing on there. Yeah. Freddie Freeman, two for 25. Yeah, There's I mean, another one. Yeah, I mean, hey, I let's mean, pay this kid $200 million. He's two for 25. <laughs> I, I, think, I think my daughter might be able to string off three hits. I mean, it's an absolute disaster over there. I will yeah. I will go with you on that one and as And there's well. another one that, that streak's got to end, but I, yeah. don't, I don't see that happening. Today. Yeah, it's a matter I of like value. Chen. Even though Chen got roped his last time out. No, he's a quality guy. He's going to settle guy. down today. So, yeah, run line, Pistol Pete. Plus, I love it. Plus 125, and I'm going to be on that one as well on the right. minus one run line. The, uh, now, plus so you one. have a blogger. What's up with the minus one? What's the minus one run line compared to minus one and a half? How do blogger ask in that once you uh, break it's, it down? It's, you basically, what you do is you bet you bet you bet to risk the same amount on the run line as to win on the money line, and then what you do is it's it's minus one. So if they win by one, you push. If they okay, lose, you lose. The, okay. and, if, and if they win by one, by by two or more, you, you win. You, you nailed yours yesterday. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But if they had won by, but see, you had one and a half. I had minus yeah. one. So if they had won by one, I would have gotten a push. Exactly. Yeah. And so I'm going to do the same thing here. The okay. uh, the uh, the uh, run line the is plus one, yeah. is plus one twenty five, and the money line half of that is uh, is going to be minus one seventy one. That's at sportsbetting.ag. Okay. Okay. What else do we have? A lot of. Uh, do you have any other picks? Well, well, Chris Sale is going. Maybe you have something to no, say about I'm that. No, I'm going to stay off of that. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. Something's got to happen in that game, even though he'll probably bring it. I don't know. Odorizzi, is, is no, you don't want to bet against him. No, as a he's up-and-comer. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. And plus, that team's got to get 
they got to get on track here and, yeah. and get off the schneid there, as they say. Um, I'm going to put a play out there on this, mm -hmm. even though there's not a line, because mm -hmm. I'm going to do it. I got burnt yesterday on it because okay. I wanted to use it. Okay. I'm going with the Cubs on the run line, and it's either going to be even money. Well, why don't you just uh, pick a book, and we'll give you the opening line at that book, according to All right, that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to go with Pinnacle. I'm okay. going with Pinnacle's run line for opening, the Cubbies. Opening line. Opening line. All right, this is an early game, so get it in. And my, my reasoning is... Joe Madden. He's got these guys playing. They're unbelievably pumped up. They feel like they can't lose right now. And that's right. dangerous when you get a team that feels like they can't lose. Hendricks on the mound. And what I really like is that Bettis is on the mound for the Rockies. So I think the Cubs are just going to keep this momentum going. Joe Madden is letting these boys play. He's letting them have fun. Yeah. And good for you, Chicago. You fans have endured a long storm <laughs> and it's over this year. So yeah, Hendricks is looking like an effective guy. Bettis, though, is a guy who I sort of have in my mind as like maybe a little bit undervalued, but yeah, could be. It's, could it's, be. Yeah. Yeah, Hendricks a powerful is, lineup. Yeah, yeah powerful facing. lineup. And Pete, Hendricks when, is absolutely solid. Yeah. Exactly. When you know confidence, when it gets bred throughout the, the clubhouse, that's hard to defeat. And right. one man on the mound can't do it all the time. So that's my take on that, buddy. All right, sounds so, good. Is that all your picks? That's all our picks. Okay, I got three solid picks. Okay, I'm going to so review them. Okay. I'm going with Arizona on the money line minus one thirty two with Grind Key on the mound. Right. His pistol Pete right. saved me right. a penny on that shopping. I'm going with the Marlins on the run line plus one twenty five with Chen on the mound and. The first line, that opening line comes out for Pinnacle. I'm taking the Cubs on the run line, which I'm going to guesstimate is going to be about even money. But that's an early game. So Cubbies on the run line, Arizona on the money line, and Marlins on the run line. And Brenner's feeling it today. I'm, I'm thinking about a sweep. And uh, two run line sweeps on top of that. I like it. All right, sounds good. And I'm going to go with. Uh, I'm going to be with you on uh, on Miami minus one though. I'm taking a shot with Toronto, Boston uh, over nine plus a hundred. Although it seems a little bit fishy. And you know what? I think I will also go with the over eight and a half okay. plus a hundred in in Detroit, Houston. I figured you were going to pull the trigger right? on that. I felt it. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, Pelfrey could get it crushed. It makes sense. I Michael know. could get crushed. If I knew a little bit more about totals, Pete, I would dive well, into I mean, that. It's just, the, the only issue is what's up with Keuchel. Is he going to? Is he going to? I know. He's, I know. Are think. his problems real, or is he likely to bounce back? Could here? Be, anyway. He's been it's, having command issues. Exactly. Command and, that, issues. and that turns into yeah. psychological. That yeah. shit gets in their head for a pitcher. I mean, who was it that year that pitcher couldn't even get the ball across the plate? He was throwing it up against the backstop. This is years ago. It happens all the time. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah whatever. I Joaquin it. Andujar? No, I don't know. Got all about it. Yeah. yeah. So. All right. So well, I got three picks. Mike Brenner's got three picks. Let's get and it done, and I'm looking it. forward to the weekend. And we'll be yeah. back for the Saturday card tomorrow. Have a great day.